here we have the review of a very large and very fancy gun, um, the M249 Saw by a &K. This is the paratrooper version, and as you can see, I got the case with it. Um, it's an aluminum case. Uh, it does. It, when I got it, there's, it was from shipping, but there's two dents in the side, which means it does dent easy. Um, on the front, you got your little lock codes and a regular lock. I have no idea why you need any of that, but I guess if you're very protective over your soft guns, then you're lucky if you have a case for it. In here, this is what you get. It will come in styrofoam, not this fancy foam stuff like this. I put this in here myself because I think it looks and works a lot better because I like to also use this case for some of my other guns like my Masada and STG and such. Alright, so let's take it out because I know that's all you really care about. Alright, here's the saw. Again, paratrooper version has the extendable stock. Collapse will you just turn it and then slide it in. Um, flips up that in the back, which when you put it on your shoulder, it does reduce the uh, strain a little bit. Um, over here, we have the, um, I guess it would be a carry handle. It adjusts all over in different notches. You just push it back and then it stays. Um, again, bipod here. Um, folds in, it also extends out a lot, um, and then to fold it up you just squeeze together and just pop it in there. Here we have the black tip, it comes with an orange tip, a standard M4 flash hider, but I have, well, this is the uh, M249 flash hider, it also comes with this, this will be orange also, but I spray painted it black just because it looks a lot cooler. Alright, this is the box mag. I did have some issues with the box mag. It could have been shipping again, I don't really know why. But for some reason, for a very long time, it would not feed BBs. Um, I'm not really sure if that's a common issue, or that's just me, or if I broke it or something. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I fixed it. I'm not really sure though, it worked like once. I don't really use this gun that much just because it literally weighs 20 pounds. I've weighed it myself with a scale, 20 pounds. So that means you smaller airsofters do not get this. I know you think it's really cool, but please, you're just going to hurt yourself if you fall or something, because it's really heavy. I mean, you can hold it up with like one hand, but not for any more length than like that. Very, very heavy gun. And again, 20 pounds isn't that much, but if you're running around the woods shooting people, it adds, it, it gets really heavy really fast. Alright. Also. In here, we have the hop-up. You push this together and you lift this whole thing up. On the real one, this belt right here would be where you would attach your rounds out of the magazine. But if you flip that up, you have your hop-up right in here, wheel face hop-up. And then you just close that. Here's your massive charging handle, which is very fun to play with. Um, and on the paratrooper version, it does have rails. The regular other two versions, which I think has a side folding stock and then just your fixed stock and longer barrel versions do not have rails up here. I believe to change and put rails up here it's by a whole new top piece, this whole piece I believe that's anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars so I like optics, I bought the paratrooper version. Um, one of the other things is this whole thing is metal except for a few select parts and that would be the grip which is hollow by the way so if you wanted to store things in here, which I do sometimes, like my sight adjustment tool, you kind of need a screwdriver to open it, like pry it open. Um, you can, because the motor is in this giant frame, because they don't really need to fit the motor in here. So that is hollow. You can put in like an orange tip and like a little uh, sight adjustment tool, because that's what I did. Um, so I know that works. And also, what's plastic is this piece up here. This whole piece is plastic. And this bottom piece, the bottom grip, is plastic. To get the battery in and out, you have to um, first pull down the bipod, flip it up or wherever. I don't even know why it locks like that, but it does. Um, you kind of pull it down, and that's your battery connection right there. It goes in the handguard. Uh, it's kind of annoying to do, actually. I do not like it, but, you know, it's a small price to pay. It comes with a 9.6 um, standard battery, 
like your regular two pieces on each side, not a stick type or nunchuck or anything, just your regular battery. Um, another cool thing about this though is if you push down this tab right here, this whole piece is a tab, you push that down, and I'm going to put this back first. You push that down, the whole barrel assembly pops forward, which means you can change your barrel, you can clean it, or whatever you might need to do if you need to repair something, then you can. Um, this is also cool because that's a feature on the real one. One of the things they can do with the real one is if you have like two outer barrels, like the two barrel assemblies on the real one and you're shooting for really long periods of time, um, the barrels will get very, very hot on the real one and you can just switch out barrels and just keep shooting. Um, again, airsoft, you're not going to need to do that because BBs do not produce any flames. So, at least they shouldn't. If they do, then you have a serious problem. Um, safety is back here. Push in that way for fire. Push in that way for safe. There's no semi-automatic on this thing. This is just completely full auto. You're never going to fire semi. Which makes chronoing it and decompressing the spring extremely difficult. Like You're supposed to, after you use your airsoft gun, shoot it a couple times in semi to make sure that the spring isn't compressed for storage. Um, it's kind of a little bit harder to do with this one. Not a big deal, but just saying. Um, box mag also is plastic. Forgot to mention that. And it um, has an auto wind feature so that every time you shoot the gun it winds which mine broke on, but um, I haven't heard that problem happening to anyone else before. Um, and also it's got just a complete wind and then off. So um, No little windy wheel for 2,500 rounds, that's how much it holds. Uh, that'd just be ridiculous. But it also does hold M4 mags, if I can find one right here. This is my uh, mag from my M4. You can remove this, pop this in there, does work, looks a little strange, but overall, if you run out of ammo, it's a small price to pay. Um, so yeah, here's the gun. I believe it's $250 on Airsoft Megasaur, if they still sell it, I remember they were out of stock last time. Um, it's, I think, 350 on Airsoft GI, because, I don't know, but, um, case version, I believe is $50 more, and without the case is, you know, $50 less, so, that's the review on the A&K M249 saw.